Hello, I'm Dean Martin with Transmission Digest. Welcome to the Transstar Industry Studios here at Babcock's Media. As you can tell by the display in front of me, the topic for today is automatic transmission fluid. ATF has always been the lifeblood of any automatic transmission and it is especially important today because of all the changes that have occurred. Early transmissions and early transmission fluid uh, was rather basic. Uh, the application, whether garage shifts or up and down shifts, uh, were not uh, really that soft and um, they didn't have the same concerns back then as we do today. The uh, the first significant change that occurred in uh, transmission fluid was back in the late 60s and early 70s with the omission of sperm whale oil. Uh, they could no longer hunt the sperm whale, therefore the OEMs had to come up with a different, uh, a different blend in their uh, transmission fluid. Also back in the early to mid 70s, the concern for uh, shift apply, shift feel started to change and so General Motors came out with Dexron to address the changing uh, transmission shift feel. Ford also came out with uh, what they called a CJ fluid which was just their version of Dexron. But that was the beginning of how uh, things like friction material and other calibration issues started to change requiring different fluid. ATF can be broken down into the parts. You have your base oil, which there's a couple of uh, different types of groupings in base oil. You have your additive package and you also have friction modifiers. The uh, friction modifier is probably the most important part of the additive package. Uh, engine oil, other fluids, differential oils, all have different additive packages. But ATF additive package is one of the most complicated to make. The friction modifier is actually what enables uh, clutches and bands to apply correctly to make a good shift. And if it doesn't go together well, the, the shifting is not correct. Viscosity improvers has become real important over the years because of the focus on fuel economy as well as electronics. So if you don't have the right viscosity modifiers, uh, again, it creates uh, many more problems as well. ATF must accommodate a lot of different functions within a transmission. You have valve operation, uh, not only with friction and steel applied, but you also have things like one-way clutches, sprags, roller clutches that also are dependent upon a certain coefficient of friction. Over the years, fluid color has changed. Instead of just normal red, uh, depending on manufacturer, they now have different colors of fluid. In the old days, you used to be able to pull a dipstick. If the fluid was red, it was good. If it was starting to change color, that meant it was going bad. That's not the case today, so you can't judge the condition of the fluid strictly by the color of it. So you have to know what you're looking at as well as the type of manufacturer uh, and the color that they choose to use. We are putting a photo of the additive package on the screen so you can get a sense of everything that goes into the ATF. Uh, it's fairly complicated. Again, it's not a simple thing of just changing one fluid uh, to another because it can result in issues. Almost every manufacturer has their own flavor of transmission fluid and it is impossible to determine if one can interchange with the other. So shops are forced into having a lot of different bottles or cans of fluid uh, to address the transmissions that they repair. Even factory fill oil is different from service oil in many cases. So you can't always judge about what was in uh, for OE production versus when you service a transmission, whether you change the fluid or do repairs. When you look at fluid, 
you have the step type transmission fluid and then you have the non-step type transmission fluid. When you look at C, uh, CVT, DCT transmissions, uh, they also require a special fluid. Uh, CVTs, because of the high pressures that they run, uh, is substantially different than step type uh, transmission fluid. So again, you have to make sure not only do you have the right brand, but you also have to have the right make of transmission fluid. And that they cannot be, uh, they cannot be interchanged. Uh, over the last several years, synthetics have really come into play. So uh, there can be synthetic interchanges uh, for the OE fluid, but you must know that it's gonna work on that particular transmission. Using the wrong transmission fluid can result in real problems. Uh, you can rebuild a transmission. Everything is as it should be. You install it, put the wrong fluid in, and you will either have initial drivability or long-term durability problems as a result. So today, using the right transmission fluid is much more important than it has ever been. Hondas, for instance, you could build a Honda, uh, do it well, put the wrong fluid in, and have a lot of different issues, whether apply in the transmission or lockup problems. So it is important to use the right fluid. If you need transmission fluid, you can check with Transtar. Transtar does carry a variety of ATF, uh, so give them a call and uh, see if they have what you need. I'm Mike Riley. Thanks for watching. See you next time.